What's going on YouTube, Z Freezan here and this is another build of Conan for this week's build. We are doing one of these pillar bases again. And uh, I'll show you on the map where this guy is. We are right down here. Right on the corner there. As you can see uh, we've got the god bubble up and the god bubble covers it very nicely. There's a lot of coverings going on there which is um, what you want with a god bubble. You want it to be nice and thick on each side. But yeah, I just thought we'll start in flight mode to get this um, better overall view. As you can see, we've got the mat room on top. Now we've got the elevator going down the bottom. So we'll get down the bottom here and let me take off our fly mode and we'll fall down. Just be a lot quicker. There we go. So yeah, this is the bottom of this place, as you can see, this is what most people will see as they're looking around. Uh, but yeah, no ledges to put on bombs, I made sure I've covered all them up, if you watch the speed build you'll see that. But um, I'll take this up and then I'll meet you up there. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're up the top of the elevator. As you can see, it's a bit of a trap elevator. Um, we have got anti-climb right around, so you can't just climb up around the sides. Now, inside we've got the yard pit. As you can see here, we've got the priest going. That's where the, the god bubble summoned from. He's on firm foundations on the ground here, so that won't be getting destroyed very easily. But yeah, we'll just go for a walk around on these little balconies out here. There's nothing much, just a greater saber tooth on this side. And if you come around here, I've got like some little sitting area on the ground. A few more trees, I will hit this elevator, so come down. While we're having a look at this other side. So just another few tables. Nothing much, but the view on these sides is very nice, and that's what these are for see what's going on, see if um, people are building trebuchet bases on you or something like that with the god bubble up trebuchet base isn't really gonna do much but you never know when you want to just have a look out uh, have a look at this view it's pretty nice over there too but yeah now we'll go up this elevator and we'll um, hit the crafting area so up here as you can see it's the crafting area, uh, the elevator will keep going, it doesn't stop at any doors but we're going to open all this up so you can see the tanneries are in there, you have your cauldrons on this side, there's all your cauldrons, and we've got our furnaces, the kilns on this side, and on here we've got the armour benches. And in here I missed it, but the blacksmith table as well. Need a blacksmith table. Um, up here is your little kitchen. Not much of a kitchen, but that is what a kitchen for now. But I really like how this yard pit sits up here with the skull. It's quite nice. And that is too, too high, so if you want to do that yourself, just go too high and put the yard pit under it. But yeah, it's quite nice. The jawline just sits right there. Alright, so we'll jump back down, call this elevator, and we'll go up again. There's another two floors I want to show you. Um, we have got the heat stroke defense on here. It's not turned on at the moment, <coughs> so I could run around and show you guys the place. But I will turn it on at the end of the video just to show you guys how well that works here. But as you can see, that room's full of the heat stroke. Another trap elevator, we come around here, we've got the whole map room going. And a really nice view out here, all the way around. One nice 360 view. Yeah, very good spot to build. Very good spot for the view as well. Quite a nice little place over here. But um, we'll turn on these heaters for you now so you can get a feel of the heat stroke that these guys produce. It is pretty crazy. 
Uh, no one will be climbing up that pillar because that heat stroke will knock them down quick smart. So they're not just going to have to take out the anticline, they're going to have to take out this room that's on top of the place as well. Or they're just not going to be climbing up. Heat stroke does go vertical, so it's all the way up, all the way down. So it's just uh, two blocks out from the heater. So if we come in the middle, hopefully we're right here. Get my little things back up, so as you can see, heat strokes kicked in. Yeah, but yeah, we got it all the way around. So, so if you're getting ready, I'll chuck this heat stroke on. I'll chuck all the doors on in the crafting area because when you're using these you want to take them off. You don't want to have them on all the time but if you get raided you come up you chuck them all on. Have a little box in this room probably in this corner a little box full of doors so you can run up and grab it and chuck it all on. Put your heat stroke on and then yeah you're good so we'll jump down now and um, test this heat stroke out boys. But yeah, as you can see, these little, um, these are like archer towers on the side here, so I'll set those up with little arches, which I haven't got at the moment, but um, yeah, it's definitely a good idea to have those sitting down. Alright guys, okay, so we're away and the heat stroke stopped. I think this heat's a bit bugged at the moment, like we're getting on the side, they're hot and very hot. We should only have one of those and we've got cooling down as well. So I don't know what it goes with that, but we'll see how long it takes for us to get heat stroke once we're a bit closer. Uh, heat stroke should be kicking in. There we go, extremely hot heat stroke. So with that you will not be able to get up this place um, until you get rid of those heaters. So that's going to be one of the biggest place, biggest defences on this place. Including the god bubble, including the arches around the side. It will be a bit of a pain in the ass to get into this place. And also i um, probably be doing raid videos yet uh, soon. Like raid cam videos of I'm trying to get someone at the moment to raid my places. Uh, if you know anyone send shout us out and message. Uh, I have got a Discord going at the moment, you'll find it on the YouTube channel. But um, yeah, let us know if you know anyone who's good at raiding and uh, can come on here and smash a few buildings that I've made. But um, yeah, that's going to be this building for this week and um, hopefully next week I can bring you guys another exciting PvP build. But yeah, that's going to be it for this week, so like, comment, subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one.
Thank <laughs> you.